The topic of this course is not only to learn how to work with typography in PowerPoint, but also to teach you some animation tricks that appear as if they would be made in After Effects or other professional animation software. Because PowerPoint is a little bit limited when it comes to animation, we need to use some workarounds which will help us achieve some nice effects. And one of those workarounds will be shown now. I go to Insert, Shapes and I select a rounded rectangle. I make a big one at first, because I want to make it nice and rounded. I go to Shape Outline, I make no outline and I make it very very small. By holding the shift key I remain to have the same proportions on it and I make it it's a bit too fat so I make it smaller once again. I think it's the right size now. Maybe it should be a bit bigger. So I make it bigger and I copy it two times. Now positioning it I use the rotation tool and by clicking on the rotation tool and holding the shift key I can turn it to about 45 degrees. I make the same thing with the bottom one and now I need to position them a little bit because right now they are pretty off so I make this one on the bottom, this one somewhat in the middle and this on the top. You don't have to be very very exact but I see this one should be turned a little bit more. Alright so we have the first sparkles here and since these are the left sparkles, I select all three of them, I go to Shape Fill, Eyedropper, and I make them the same color. And now comes the fun. I go to Animation and I select Wipe. They should be wiped from left, oh sorry, from right, as if they would shoot out from the world. Once again, I open up the animation pane to see what did I achieve. I do know that this takes too long, so I go to Duration, I make it quarter a second. What you also need to do, you need to go at animation and it can be here. It needs to be at animation and also put a exit effect, which will be also wipe. And the exit effect should be also from the same side. As you see, I have six animation effects. I make with previous, I select everything and go with previous. The second three animations should be also quarter a second duration and right now they should be a little bit afterwards. I know that they should appear when the first word appears. So I select all of them and I go to ladies. So now they appear just as the word appears. Maybe they should be a little bit delayed. Select the exit ones and the exit ones should be delayed just a little bit. For example, to zero 06 seconds. So as you see now the animation starts at half a second and it disappears one tenth of a second later. I just have to position them right. It's hard to select but I can and I just make them a bit more space between them and I think we are ready. Let's preview the effect. Ladies and gentlemen. As you see they did sparkle out of the world they should be just a little bit adjusted, but overall, that's what we wanted to achieve. Right now, I copy it over, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I have three new animations. I just need to turn them around. Well, now they are turned wrong, but that's absolutely no problem. You just adjust each one separately and you put them in the right place. Once they are there, I select every one of them and I select a white color because this text has a white color. You need to hit the drawing tools, shape fill and just select white. Okay, I did position the sparkles and I need to select everything, go to animations and delay them a bit more. So they're intact with the second animation. Once again, I need to hit the three exit ones and delay them just a little bit beyond the first ones. The very, very last thing you need to do select all three of them, effect options and now they should appear from left. The same goes for the exit animation from left and we are done with the sparkles. Let's preview the effect now. Ladies and, gentlemen. and this is how you create a nice little sparkle effect in PowerPoint. 
And now let's head over to the next lesson where we'll make a really simple transition, but it will be unique and it won't look as it would be from PowerPoint.